Yes, Mr. Hirsch. Uh, Sir, on page 79, uh, Mr. Proctor says that the stupidest text in the Bible is they hated me without a cause. Does that mean the Nazis were right to hate the Jews? Is Huxley an anti-Semite? No. No, Mr. Huxley is not an anti-Semite. Of course, the Nazis were wrong to hate the Jews, but their hating the Jews was not without a cause. It's just that the cause wasn't real. The cause was imagined. The cause was fear. Let's leave the Jews out of this just for a moment. Let's think of another minority, one that, one that can go unnoticed if it needs to. There are all sorts of minorities. Blondes, for example. People with freckles. The minority is only thought of as one when it constitutes some kind of threat to the majority, a real threat or an imagined one. And therein lies the fear. And if that minority is somehow invisible, then the fear is much greater. And that fear is why the minority is persecuted. And so you see there always is a cause. The cause is fear. Minorities are just people. People like us. I can see I've lost you a bit. So I'll tell you what, we're going to forget about Mr. Huxley today, and we're going to talk about fear. Fear, after all, is our real enemy. Fear is taking over our world. Fear is being used as a tool of manipulation in our society. It's our politicians peddle policy. It's how Madison Avenue sells us things you don't need. Think about it. The fear of being attacked. The fear that there are communists lurking around every corner. The fear that some little Caribbean country that doesn't believe in our way of life poses a threat to us. The fear that black culture may take over the world. The fear of Elvis Presley's hips. Actually, maybe that one is a real fear. Fear that our bad breath may ruin our friendships. Fear of growing old, being alone. Fear that we're useless and that no one cares what we have to say. Have a good weekend.